Hello, my name is Craig Bradford, Principal with the Sacramento County Office of Education. On behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our first virtual graduation. Thank you to all the family and friends who are here to watch and to celebrate our graduates' achievements. I would also like to thank and recognize all the SCOE teachers and staff that work so hard with these graduates to make this day possible. To begin our ceremony, I would like to invite the SCOE graduating class to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join our graduates as they lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 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 At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools, David W. Gordon, to share a few words with you. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to reach out to you. High school graduation is a big moment in anyone's life, and I'm thrilled to share this event with you, even if we can't all be here together in person. Graduates, this has been an especially challenging year for you. The COVID-19 restrictions meant you had to complete the school year at home, away from your teachers, away from your schools, and away from your friends. I know that's been hard. It's been a great disruption, and this is not how you wanted your high school years to end. I know you wanted to celebrate with your classmates, with your teachers, and with your families in the room cheering you on and we regret not being able to give that to you. But please know that we are filled with pride for each and every one of you. We recognize how much hard work you put in to reach your goal and earn your diploma. Graduation is an important step in your life journey, but remember, this is just one of many milestones you will reach during your lives. Through SCOE, we hope you found the direction you needed to reach the first milestone. You had extra support, mentoring, career development and training, and an entire team of teachers and staff rooting you on every step of the way. I also want to thank our outstanding Board of Education for their support of all of you throughout the school year. I also want to thank our valued partners, the Sacramento County Probation Department and the Sheriff's Department we work closely with them, and I know they are proud of you as well. Always remember, no one succeeds alone. You had a lot of support. Please remember to thank your teachers and school staff who have been so supportive by sending them emails or notes in the regular mail. Include photos of you and your families. I know your teachers would really appreciate that. And most of all, Please remember to thank your family and friends who stood by you every step of the way. They believed in you and are so proud of you today. They admire you and admire your refusal to quit, and they admire your determination. Graduating from high school shows how capable you are of reaching your goals when you commit yourselves to them. But why stop here? Please. Commit yourself to the fact that your learning will not stop with high school. What about a two-year degree or certificate from a community college? What about a four-year degree from a CSU? What about a trade apprenticeship? Your options are endless if you stretch yourself to set ambitious goals and continue to work hard. Like us all, you've made mistakes along the way and hopefully you've learned from them. But I want you to understand that your biggest mistake isn't in failing. It's in failing to pick yourself up and take on the challenges of head, ahead of you and keep on going. Some people ask, in life, what is more important, good luck or hard work? In my experience, the harder I worked, the luckier I got. So keep working hard. Just look at how hard you had to work to complete just this school year and to complete your high school education. 
Hard work and further education are the keys to a bright future. So step up, step out, and continue to make us all proud. And now it's my pleasure to introduce some very special guest speakers. Hi, I'm Rolanda Wilkins, and I'm the Executive Director of Earth Mountain Healing. And it is with great honor and pleasure that I get to come and say some words to the 2020 graduates. First of all, congratulations. It's not always easy on this journey. But consider this, you are the first class in known history to have made it through this particular time of the quarantine. But what you have shown us with your grace and your uh, tenacity, that you are carving out a new space, a new way of being, you are the first group that will basically, mm, you are the first group that's showing us that we could even up the score if we just look out for each other. So as you embark upon continuing your schooling or jobs or whatever it is that you're gonna do, remember that you have inside of you the ability to conquer anything. If you set your mind to it, if you keep your positive attitudes, if you make a plan and stick to it, don't be afraid to ask for help. We are all rooting for you because now you're joining the rest of us in the world and making it a better place. And I pray and, and just wish just wonderful thoughts on you as you go out into the world because we need you. We need y'all so much. We need your young, brilliant minds to add on to the great continuum that is us. So congratulations, class 2020. Hello, graduates. I'm Michael Lynch. I'm the co-founder and chief executive officer of Improving Tomorrow. And you, you may not know this, but I'm a lot like you. I grew up in a single parent home, uh, right? When I was in my communities in, in Stockton and Sacramento, I was surrounded by drugs, gangs, and, and violence, uh, uh, you know, but what was underlying challenge, you know, in my communities was, was money, right? Oftentimes, we didn't have enough of it, it seemed like, right, really to get through. Uh, but I, despite those obstacles, I became the first person in my family to graduate college, the first person in my family to get a master's degree, the first person in my family to work in the state capitol, right? And, and, and now I run an organization, a nonprofit organization that, that serves 1,500 young men of color and 19 school sites, working to change the trajectory for the young men we serve to help them also become the first person in their family to graduate college. So today, what I wanna be able to deliver is a graduation uh, you know, celebration, but also a moment and a message. I wanna remind you of three different things. As you move on from today, I want you to one, set a vision for your life. What do you want your life to look like? Two, when you set that vision, create goals. Your goals will guide you towards creating the life that you want. And three, I want you to practice delayed gratification, meaning that you know, you're gonna have to bypass right that party sometimes. You're, you're not gonna be able to do that Netflix binge. So you can be able to focus on your studies so you can be able to create the vision that you want for your life. Just know, at this moment, right, anything is possible. Depends how much work you're willing to put in, right? It depends how much sacrifice you're willing to make. I want you to make sure that, that not only are you pursuing your vision, that you begin to look back. Who else can you begin to inspire and help right, to create change in your communities? So today, as you celebrate this momentous occasion, again, I just wanna say thank you, congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment. Be proud, but this is not the end for you. You can do anything. You determine what you want out of life. Hey, and you got this, All right, congrats. Good morning, class of 2020. I'm, my name is Dr. Alfred Brown, and I'm a trustee with the Sacramento County School Board, and I'm wishing you well in your future endeavors. Remember one thing, your attitude will determine your altitude. Along the way, people will, uh, will help you and guide you, and all you need to do is ask for help. Sometimes that's very hard to do because you want to do it on your own, but nobody does it on their own. So my advice to you is to remember, do your best at all times. Education is a key to success and everybody has to do that. And you're no exception. You're, you're, you're just as good as anyone else. As uh, Dr. 
Carver, George Washington Carver would say, you have all that the greatest of men have had, two arms, two legs, and two eyes, and a brain to use if you're wise. So take hold of yourself, young man and young lady, and do your best. Hello, graduates. Thank you so much for all of your hard work to get to this day of graduation. My name is Dr. Paul Kiefer, and I'm the trustee for Area 3 for Sacramento County Board of Education. I am so proud of the work that you've done your ability to combine the will and intellect to allow you to graduate with your classmates is an amazing accomplishment. And the best part about that accomplishment are the tools that you learned by combining your will and intellect is to put fortitude with it as well. What does that mean? That means just show up. Just show up to your interviews on time. Just show up to your family dinners. Just show up to your classes on time or your Zoom meetings. Just show up. You have the tools to be so successful, even in a challenging environment, your ability to show up will dictate your success. I wish you the very best. On behalf of the board, I would like to say that we're very proud of you and we look forward to your great accomplishments. Thank you. Hey, class of 2020, this is Cam Owasa from Sac Republic. Uh, I just wanted to wish you congratulations on finishing up high school. I know it must have been a tough year, but Everyone is still proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. Class of 2020, congratulations from all of us at Sacramento Republic. We're very proud of you, uh, and best luck in your future endeavors. Hey, Class of 2020, Adam Grin was here with Sacramento Republic. Congratulations on graduation. I know it's been a challenging year, but I have no doubt that this adversity will help you and serve you well in your future endeavors. Can't wait to see you guys out at a game and, and make sure to celebrate accordingly. You guys did an awesome job. Keep finding ways to make the most out of every situation. Um, I can't wait to see you guys at a game soon. Congratulations. Hey, class of 2020. I know it's been a difficult year with an unusual ending for you, but just wanted to wish you congratulations and good luck with your future achievements. Hopefully we get to see you out at a Sac Republic game. Congratulations and good luck in the future. Hey, Senior Class of 2020, Scott Moak here with The Republic. Uh, just wanted to wish you congratulations. Kudos on a great year. I know a little bit weird, but you made it through. Congratulations and uh, best of luck. Hey, 2020 class. Doug Christie of the Sacramento Kings, I just want to say congratulations. I know it's been a tough couple months. We are all going through it, but I want to say I am proud of you. Your teachers are proud of you. The Sacramento Kings community is proud of you and so excited to see what you do next. Good luck to you. And again, congratulations. Thank you for those inspirational messages. It is my pleasure to invite SCOE graduate Alexia Vasquez to share a few words. Good morning, class of 2020. First, I would like to thank Superintendent Gordon, Mr. Bradford, members of the board, my teachers, especially my teacher, Ms. Charbonneau, staff, family, and friends for being here to commemorate this moment. Before starting my journey here with the Senior Extension Program, I was a 19-year-old single mother and former foster youth who had dropped out of high school at the age of 16 at the end of my junior year. In my earlier days of schooling, I had been placed in AP classes and excelled in school. I never thought I wouldn't be graduating high school with my original class. When I turned 18, I had just had my son a month after becoming a legal adult. My son had special needs and required a lot of extra time, care, and attention as he was born with a cleft lip and palate. On top of that, things were just not going my way. I was facing problems being able to acquire my birth certificate, therefore not being able to have an ID. Once I was able to acquire it, I was almost 19. The last school I attended was the Promise Program with Mr. Silva. I started there with calling Mr. Silva up and asking him how I would go about enrolling back into school and getting my diploma. That is when I first heard of the Senior Extension Program. Mr. Silva gave me Mr. Bradford's number and I went ahead and started the process of getting enrolled. I started my journey with Senior Extension soon after. My experience here with Senior Extension was nothing less than a blessing. Ms. Charbonneau, Bimo, and Gabe all played a significant role in me being able to graduate with you guys here today. I can more than say on their behalf that they go above and beyond for their students. 
They were always flexible when it came to aligning each other's schedules with my own. If you can't make it into class, one of them will personally go to you to pick up your work and drop more work off. I also have had all three of them take time out their day and move their schedules around just to be able to help me get to school. They have personally picked me up to make sure I get there no matter what. If you have any questions or just needed someone to talk to, whether it was through text or in person, they always made themselves available and were and continue to be there for me as a strong support system. That to me right there showed me just how much they cared and would go the extra mile for you. Each one of them always kept me on my toes and to help me refrain from being lazy and slacking on my work. That isn't something you see every day. When you have teachers that truly care about their students and are willing to go the extra mile just to see them succeed. That is what makes all the difference when it comes down to a young adult succeeding and finishing high school or failing. Once I was getting close to graduating, they made sure to have me ready for starting my journey as a college student. Gabe took time out his day to call me in Zoom and help me apply for college and for my financial aid, guiding me step by step, making sure I did everything correctly and knew how to do it. Them going above and beyond doesn't stop at graduating high school. They make sure you are prepared for college and that they are there for you along the way. To me, they are not just my teachers, they have become more like family and I will forever be grateful for having them in my life. I wouldn't have been where I'm at today in this time frame if it wasn't for you guys. My journey doesn't stop here today. I have enrolled in ARC and will be going to get my associate's degree, then hopefully transferring to Sac State to receive my bachelor's. I'm proud of each and every graduate here today. You put the work in, you didn't give up, and now you're reaping the fruits of your labor. We all have different stories and took different paths in life, yet we ended up with the same schooling predicament. I myself had been kicked out of a couple of schools and was about to get expelled from the Natomas district. Thankfully, I was shown leniency and given one last chance to prove myself. In life, second chances may not always come your way. One thing is for sure though, there is always hope. Never let anyone, including yourself, count you out or tell you what you can or cannot do. Not even you know till faced with the task at hand. I hope each and every graduate here today follows their dreams in becoming successful adults. Let this here today be your push to go even harder and pat yourself on the back because this is a huge accomplishment that not everyone gets to experience. That no matter what obstacle is being thrown your way, you can still come out on top. With that being said, congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Thank you, Alexia. I would now like to invite SCOE graduate Matthew Taylor to join us and share a few words. Greetings, family, friends, faculty, and my fellow classmates, the class of 2020. Before I start my speech, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be here today to graduate and to send a message to all of you. I want to thank the servants of God for their endless prayers. I want to thank my parents for everything they have done for me and for guiding me into the man I am becoming. To my family, thank you for always supporting and pushing me to reach my goals. Also a huge, huge shout out to the faculty and staff of Eleanor Hickey High School. Special thank you to Principal Craig, Miss Nicole, and Mr. Bimo, and Mr. Gay for accepting me, giving me a second chance, and helping me achieve my goals. Life has not been easy, and I have faced a lot of hardships throughout my high school journey. I never thought in a million years that I would see this day. However, my efforts and my perseverance have paid off and I am here, graduating. There were times when I lost hope, doubted myself and thought about giving up. I was not an honorable student and spent more than enough times in the principal's office. I was always being 
judged as the bad kid by certain teachers and peers. One day I realized I was tired of being misjudged as a black sheep because of my mistakes. I started keeping up with my assessments, asking for more help when I needed it, and making better choices. I am thankful for all my actions, both good and bad, because I was able to learn and grow from those experiences. This day proves they were all wrong. I am not a bad kid or a black sheep. I am a graduate student graduating on time. To my fellow classmates, we had, we finally made it. We had a long and hard journey. As the song says, we started from the bottom and now we're to the top, the whole team's here. My advice is don't give up ever. God will provide a second chance. Push yourselves to be better than you were yesterday. Shoot for the stars. So if you fall short, you can land on the clouds. I want to encourage all of us here today to take risks. I just want to say that if no one has ever told you this, let me be the first. Be like Nike and just do it. Go buy that car you wanted. Apply for that dream job. Get that house you wanted. Or even shoot your shot at that one special someone. Uh, uh, what do you have to lose? I once read you miss 100% of the shots you do not take. The most important part of my speech that I want you to take with you in life is to never give up on yourself. Class of 2020, it's been a phenomenal journey. It was a pleasure to have the honor of sharing the experiences with all of you. I wish all of you a sincere congratulations and good luck. We made it, class of 2020. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matthew. We will now award diplomas to each of our graduates. Ajane Adams. Araceli Ahumada. Angelica Asenio Gonzalez. Jason Alls. Adrian Barrigan. Axel Becerro. Savon Bradley. Josiah Branner. Andrew Carrion. Rosie Castaneda. Christian Castro. Carlos Chavez Lemus. Taya de la Fuente. Alexandria Diaz. Jonathan Enriquez. Jacqueline Espedia. Demonte Cabello Fernandez. Roberto Garcia. Julian Gray Ross. DeAndre Hall. Ivy Hancock. Samaria Harris. Henry Hayes. Brianna Haney. Ellis Heidelberg. Clayton Johnson. Rakia Key. Edgar Leon Ramirez. Peyton Lopez. 
Renee Loving, Uniqua Madden, Malia Martin, Geneva McCrae, Jariah Medina, Erica Mitchell, Andres Morales, Brian Nash, Jesus Navarez, Thais Jaylene Price, Augustin Ramos, Horace Riley, Jennifer Ruelas, Alicia Ruiz, Jonathan Santana, Brianna Sapp, Richard Starkey, Alea Stone, Kiari Stewart, Matthew Taylor, Alexia Vasquez, Natalia Ventura, Alana Wallace, Esperanza Walker Camacho, Jaden White Clayton, Kishan Williams, Nicholas Williams. Hi graduates, it's Ms. Faustin from North Area Community School. I can't celebrate with you in person, but I did want to take the opportunity to congratulate you on an amazing achievement. You set your mind to something and you completed it. So congratulations on your graduation. Whatever you decide to do with your life, whether it's go to college, including my alma mater, or you choose a career, or you wanna be a homemaker, or like many of us, all of the above, I wish you all the very best. Congratulations again and take care. Good afternoon, Superintendent Gordon members of the board, colleagues, family, friends, and most importantly, our graduating seniors of 2020. I'm Mrs. Charbonneau, a senior extension teacher at Eleanor Lincoln Hickey High School. I wanted to personally congratulate and thank each and every one of you today. I wanted to congratulate you on this major life milestone that you've accomplished. There are about 328 million people in the United States and only 58 million of them have earned a high school diploma. You can now consider yourself one of the 58 million because of your determination. You set a goal, you worked hard, and you completed it. Because of this, you have changed the course of your life and your family members, including your children and your future children for generations to come. A high school diploma will open many doors for you. It will never expire and nobody can ever take it away from you. I wanted to thank you for allowing me and my colleagues to be a part of this success. You've allowed us the privilege and honor in helping you grow and achieve. So I wanna tell you there is a great big world out there. Go out and take everything it has to offer you. Best wishes and much love. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Assistant Superintendent Dr. Matt Perry to lead the turning of the tassel ceremony and then ask Board President Bina Lefkowitz to accept this class. Thank you, Principal Bradford. Will the graduates please stand with your family? We'd like you to share in the turning of the tassel ceremony, signifying your change from a student to a contributing member as an adult in our community. Please move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. We are now gonna ask 
our board president, Pina Lefkowitz, if she will accept this class of graduates into the class of 2020. And President Lefkowitz, I can assure you that each of these graduates has completed all of the requirements for high school graduation for the state of California. And I would ask that you accept them as the class of 2020. Dr. Perry, before I accept this graduating class, I'd like to say a few words. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to say how proud we are of each of you. We know many of you have climbed hills and mountains to get to this milestone, but to achieve graduation during COVID is an amazing feat. I know these are uncertain times, and we want you to remember you, that we are all in uncharted waters together. As you navigate forward, I hope you know that you are not alone. Your families and your SCOE family are here for you. You have proven your resilience, your ability to overcome adversity. I challenge you to envision your future, create a plan, and remember you have a cheering squad right here as you take your next steps in your life's journey. On behalf of the Sacramento County Board of Education, I accept this group as graduates Parents and families and friends, I am pleased to present to you the Sacramento County Office of Education Class of 2020. Congratulations.